Christiana Alexis, your time has come. Victor of Toros, your time has come. Ekade Benedict, Ejebo, your time has come. Sophia, you welcome on board. Patusano, you welcome on board. Gold, Nessie, you welcome on board. Pamela, Philip, my daughter, welcome on board. Lizzie Graham, you welcome on board. Good mercy, your time has come. In the name of Jesus, the Angela Jesus, welcome aboard. We don't give up here. Lizzy Graham, we don't give up. Augustina Dadu, your time has come. Angela Benedict Cabe, your time has come. Isaiah Alufa, your time has come. Festus Edike, your time has come. Isaiah called me back after this after this new um, station. As I am, Ada, your time has come. In the name of Jesus, Dominion, where your time has come. Maria, Isabel, my sister, your time has come. Cordelia, Odogu, your time has come. Divan, Augustine, Augustina, your time has come. As many women now. More than Kokoro family, your time has come, East Lane, Manswell, your time has come, Divan, your time has come, Jennifer, Augustine, your time has come, the name of Jesus, yes, we will never give up, never, never in our dictionary, we don't give up, Cordelia, we don't give up, yes, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Zena Borat, we don't give up. Just bonding, your time has come. In the name of Jesus, you are welcome to We don't give up family. We don't give up. Our enemy give up. Molly, Palette, your time has come. Deborah Edward, your time has come. We don't give up yet. Yeah, whatever that wants to give up, they will give up on you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That your issue, Philomena, Opposite again, we don't give up. Adam, Ada, your time has come. We don't give up. We don't give up. Hallelujah. It, that's, our, that's the theme of the program. We are always here to declare to our enemy that we don't give up. We, they, don't, they cannot see the end of our life. We will see the end of whatever issue we have come with today. Gabriel, Abraham, we don't give up. Your time has come, Gabriel. Hallelujah. As many watching me now. You are next in line for a major breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for another opportunity of not giving up. Marita Umbuzim, your time has come, yes. We never give up, and you see what God has done today. Caroline, one in a million, we will not give up. Jennifer will not give up. Yes, <laughs> hallelujah. Yes, we, 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 right from day one, even in Lagos, we we cry to God, and God is to His word. At the come and see what God has done. That's why when I see Marita and Peter Obuze, I just say, God, you call it be at work. You are the one at work. Yeah, the Nilam William, my daughter, we don't give up. Your Thomas Carey, the ever strong, we don't give up. Anna Kamara, we don't give up. We don't give up. That your issue will be the one to give up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we just thank you for this blessed day you have made. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, we acknowledge you that without you, we are hopeless. Without you, we are finished. But with you in our life, we can never give up. 
Thank you for this wonderful day. Many people hope to see this day and they could not make it. But because of the confidence that we have in you, because you're always with us, we're always here to tell, to encourage one, one of our, well, I mean, ourselves in, in you, that they will declare that every attack of the enemy, when we're sleeping, we say that we return back to Sedan in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for a blessed new day that you have made. We declare this day, we shall rejoice and we'll be glad in the marvelous things you will do in our life, the testimony you will do, the employment we will get, the every good thing that will manifest in this good day will show up in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I decree that whatever what you to give up, because you have you have shown yourself today they will be the one to give up. Because you are here in God's presence, that your issue will be the one to give up in the name of Jesus. Every cross that the enemy of your destiny gives to carry all this time, I command the cross to, the cross to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. First Samuel 5 verse 10 said, Bible said that but, but the God of all grace who has called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus. After you have suffered a while, he will make you perfect, he will establish you, he will strengthen you, and he will settle you. After that you have suffered a while, he will perfect you, he will settle you, he will strengthen you, he will settle you. I declare by the blood of Jesus, you are in for God's settlement. You are in for God's strength. You are in for God's protection. You are in for every good thing you have believed God for in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every power <clears throat> in your father's house, in your mother's house, wherever they are, that has possibly shame reproach in your life. You will see the head of them in the name of Jesus Christ and let the angels of the Lord be released now with a flame sword of fire against every enemy of your destiny. Fire of God consume every enemy of my destiny. Fire of God consume every enemy of my testimony. <clears throat> fire of God consume every enemy of my destiny. Consume them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yesterday we started a topic of of covenant of settlement. And I told you about four realm of divine settlement that God wants to do for you in this month of set of September. In this month it will settle you in the salvation. That means the purpose of knowing God will manifest in your life. Just like knowing this God has transformed my life. So at salvation, salvation is meant to transform your life from poverty to riches, from sickness to divine health, from barrenness to become fruitfulness. That is what salvation is. And God will say to you, for you to know him. He said to Moses in Exodus 14, 13, and Moses said unto the people, just like I am saying to you right now, fear not, start stay, and see the salvation of the Lord. You will see the salvation of the Lord you're watching me right now. Rosemary, Obako, you will see the salvation of the Lord. Ketra, Elisha, you will see the salvation of the Lord. Mabe, Adu, you will see the salvation of the Lord. Divan, Augustinam, Obi, Ozito, you will see the salvation of the Lord. Pamela, you will see the salvation of the Lord. And Moses said, just like Pastor Ale said unto the people right now, fear you not. Start here and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you. 
for the Egyptian, the problem, the barrenness, the affliction, that problem that will give you sleepless nights. After today, you will see it no more. You will see it no more forever. That poverty, you will see it no more forever. That uh, uh, problem, you will see it no more forever. Hallelujah. When God settle you in salvation, the Egyptian you see before, you will see them no more. You are in for God's settlement in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I said much about that yesterday. Number two, it will settle you in your head. In salvation, God will settle you in your head. Number three, I want to share today, which I did not say yesterday, was it will settle you in restoration. I declare whatever you have lost, my God will settle you in the mighty name of Jesus. He will settle you. This morning, the power of God is coming on you for divine settlement in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say it will settle you in restoration. The Bible tells us a good story about a widow who needed emergency settlement. Yes, second King 8, verse 1 to 3. Then speak Elisha unto this woman whose son he had restored to life, saying, Arise and go the household and sojourn wheresoever thou cast sojourn. For the Lord has called for a famine, and it shall not also come upon the land seven years. And the woman arose and did after the saying of the man of God, and she went with her household and sojourned in the land of Philistine seven years. And it came to pass at the seventh year's end, the woman returned out of the land of the Philistine, and she went forth to cry unto the king for her house and for her land. A woman lost all that she had during the famine of seven years. After the famine, she returned home to claim her property, but there was no solution. There was no way the king was going to settle her. But because the woman had a covenant partnership with God, God arranged a way for a settlement. This morning, God will arrange a way for a settlement. The God that has settled me, that God will settle you in the mighty name of Jesus. God arranged a way for a settlement in 2 Kings 8, verse 4 to 6. And the king talked with Galazim, Galazim, the servant of the man of God, saying, Tell me, I pray thee, all the good things that Elisha has done. And it came to pass, as he was telling the king, how he restored a dead body to life, that behold, the woman whose son he had restored to life cried to the king for her house and for her land. And Gehazi said, My Lord, O King, this is the woman, and this is a son, whom Elisha restored to life. And when the king asked the woman, she told her. So the king appointed unto her a city officer, saying, Restore all that was her, and all the fruit of the field since the day that she left the land. Even up till now. You see, I got a rage to restore back to you what you have lost. As she was begging for her property, the servant of the man of God was in another room sharing a testimony. But the covenant of settlement, the king had no choice but to re restore all her property. Because of the covenant of settlement in her life, she did not just get back what she lost. She get back. She got it back with interest. And this is why, when I'm saying this in the scripture, it comes back to me. Look at how God has restored me back. 
the things I never pray for, what I never in my life ever imagined. Those are the things I am enjoying today in Christ, in salvation, in knowing God. And I declare there are things you don't, you don't seem there's no way again. But I'm telling you that God will make a way for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say God will make a way for you that whatever you have lost, you are set for total restoration. All raw restoration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So one is watching me, me right now, but this covenant of settlement in a supernatural way, God will arrange for your restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. When God wants to settle you, he will restore back all that you have lost. I've seen a woman who was buried for many years, but when God set, settled them, he, he settled them with twists, with triplets. Not in the Bible, it's in, his, it's in VPA. Not one, not two, not three. This woman did not believe that it's off for I again. Because she was running out of age. She was running out of age. And when it came to me, and I told him, God said, go above a baby uh, trolley. She was disappointed that ah, this man did not pray. But what did God did? He said to this woman with a boy and a girl at once. And what you, you need you're looking for a child, but God said to you, what's after all? I declare, as you listen to the sound of my voice, God will say to you, what's after all? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As said, go, when God will say to you, he will speak back to all that you have lost. He will say to you, someone is watching me right now, God will say to you, in the mighty name of Jesus, in that financial difficulty, God will settle you. In your business, it will settle you. In your earth, it will settle you. In your marriage, it will settle you. In your project, God will settle you. In your ministry, God will settle you. In all that concerns you, you are, you are set for settlement if you are ready. Hallelujah. If you are ready, shall Jesus. That's what he does. See, he's, he's settled. Number 14, that I want to let you know today, God is able to settle you financially. He's ready to settle you financially. Genesis 28, verse 1 to said, And there was a famine in the land, beside the first famine that was in the day of Abraham. And Isaac went into Abimelech, king of the Philistine, unto God. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go not down into Egypt dwell in the land which Ab shall tell of thee. So joy in this land, and I will be with thee, and I will bless thee. Hmm. You know, it doesn't matter where you are. When God wants to bless you, He will bless you anywhere. When there was a famine in that land, Isaac wanted to look for a better place to go. But God said, No. Remain in that same land. <laughs> I'm the great provider. Remain in that the same land. Just like people are running, etas um, running to other countries from Nigeria, you have to always ask God, should I go? Don't just rush anyhow. Don't rush anyhow. There's no way that God cannot meet all your There's no way God cannot meet all your need. There's no way. Whether the place is bad, God can make things work out for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Because it was, he was trying to look for a better place. But when God be for you, wherever you are, every is open up for you. When God be for you, even in that prison, God will make a way for you. Wherever you are, God will make a way for you. Look at what happened to Lot, Genesis 30 verse 10. And Lot lifted up his eyes and beheld all the plan of Jordan. But it was well watered everywhere. Before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, 
even as the garden of the Lord lacked the land of Egypt, as that cometh unto Zion. Lot went to the water land of Sodom and Gomorrah, but he went without God. He went without God, and by this, by this time he left the end, he did not live with a penny. <laughs> As when I'm talking, I refer to myself. 2002 was when I came to this country, London, because the Lord set me here. Less than five years, every open up. What is more than millions of pounds, I already acquired it. Within five years, every open up in a land when I don't know how to communicate in English. And God show up. That's what I said. If God be for you, be anywhere. Everyone will be open up for you in the mighty name of Jesus. When you are under a covenant of settlement, it does not matter where you find yourself. You will flourish there. As long you know this God, for those that know this God, you shall be strong and you will continue to do exploits. When you are under a covenant of settlement, whether other, other people are grooming, you are growing. You are growing. As it so in the land of famine, and he reap in the same land all dead food harvest. The covenant of settlement will settle you financially. It will give you a favor that you that you will that will cost you to live forever. When God settles you financially, there is nothing anyone can do about it. Nothing. This must work for you, but first, when God chooses to bless you financially, this must work for you by fire by force. This money, my God will settle you in all that concerns you in the name of Jesus Christ. What must I do to enjoy this covenant of settlement? Let's be very careful. Every breakthrough in the life as a secret. Every breakthrough in life has a secret. The covenant of settlement also has a secret. And one of the secrets is fear God. Fear God. Fear God. Deuteronomy 10 verse 20 to said, And now is great what does the Lord that God require of thee. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his way, to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, to keep the commandment of the Lord and his statue, which I command thee this day for the for thy good. Behold, the heaven and the heavens of heavens is the Lord thy God, and the earth also with all that therein is. What does, what does God require of you watching me right now? Before you can enter into a covenant of settlement with, with God, you must do what? Fear Him. Fear this God. When you fear God, you will, you will not do things on your own. The secret of the covenant of settlement is, 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 is to fear God, to walk in His way, to love Him and serve Him. Every man and woman who love who, who, who God ever settled in life did four things. Did these four things. If you can fear God in your action, in your words, God will settle you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you can fear God in your action, in your words, you are in for settlement. Number two, be addicted to the things of the kingdom. Be addicted to the things of the kingdom. Go back to the 5 verse 11 to 12. Be addicted to the things of the kingdom. Let the things of the kingdom be your number one priority. That's why it says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and every other thing shall be added to you. I want to call settlement. 
seek it first. Let it be number one priority in your life. When you get addicted to the things of God, it will give you all round settlement. That's no that's number one requirement is the fear of God. Number two, get addicted to the things of God. And every will be open up for you. Number three, let the kingdom of God be your focus. Don't let nothing distract you. Let the kingdom of God be your number one focus. Bible says in First Samuel 2 verse 10, said, For they that honor me, I will honor. And they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed. Make God your number one priority. Make God your number one priority. Be prepared to make sacrifice for God. Be prepared. Wherever you need God in settlement, as you make up, as you make God your focus this morning, He will make you His priority. In the name of Jesus Christ, I see God settle you this morning. In the name of Jesus, this is your season for a divine settlement. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, wherever you need God's settlement in your marriage, in your business, in the fruit of you of the womb, in your head, receive it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, whatever shame and disgrace the enemy has prepared against you, but this covenant of settlement. They shall be turned into honor. They shall be turned into dignity. As you are in for God's settlement this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I don't know what has been a reproach in your life. But today, God will settle you. In every area you need a settlement, and say God will settle you. In your marriage, God will settle you with your children, in your finance, He will settle you with, the, with, with, with money, with breakthrough, in Every area you need God's settlement, we see the anointing for settlement right now. It's coming on you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I said, This is your season to bet that miracle. This is your season to carry your children. This is your season to be promoted. This is your season to be lifted up. This is your season to be elevated. I said, This is your season to carry your babies. In the name of Jesus, if you believe it, say, I receive it, I receive it. In the name of Jesus, I receive it. So shall it be, it will manifest. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever that is troubling you, this settlement will end it up. I say, God's settlement will end it up. In the mighty name of Jesus, as you pray this morning with authority, this morning, I say, my God will settle you. In the name of Jesus, I say, God fighting the battle of your life in order to give you victory, victory that brings glory to his name alone. is coming your way. Testimony that brings glory to his name alone is coming your way. In the name of Jesus Christ, what is that need? What is that challenge? What is that issue? That request, that stubbly situation that has brought you before the Lord this morning. You can look to that issue and said, my God is able to settle me. My God is able to turn this around for me. In the name of Jesus, say whether the devil like it or not, I am in for the vast settlement. The God that settled me, that God will settle you. In the name of Jesus, the God that turned this around for you, that God will turn this around for you. In the name of Jesus, the God that, oh, hallelujah, tell me, what is in, how can you get a money from the for, from the mouth of the fish. Tell me. I can water come out from the rock. Tell me. That will tell you how powerful this your God is. How powerful this your God is. It was you are in for settlement. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah today. I am saying it anywhere, anytime in this broadcast that it was good. I did not go to school. It was good. I was afflicted. And when I discovered there was no way. I, 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 I connected to this God that makes a way when there is no way. And today, that's why I talk with confidence. <coughs> what man cannot do for me. What my father cannot do for me. 
what my parents cannot do for me, God, God, take it for me. And the glory go to him alone. No man else has the glory. Say, thank you, Lord, for knowing you. Say, Lord, thank you for knowing you. Thank you, Lord, for knowing you. Thank you, Lord, for knowing you alone. Thank you, O oh Lord. Thank you because my season of divine settlement has come. Say, my season of divine settlement has come. Lord, thank you, Lord, for knowing you. I declare upon you every stone that the enemy has used to block your rising. I command the stone to roll back to set that this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, every sin in your life that has opened the door to the enemy of your destiny. I declare no sin God has forgiven you in the name of Jesus Christ. I said every sin of your fathers that has brought those doors into your family. Land, I cough. That sins God has forgiven you. I said you are set for divine settlement this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. You are set for divine settlement in the name of Jesus. I decree by the blood of Jesus, I break every cautious and unconscious covenant you have entered into that has brought closed doors into your life in the mighty name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I break every cautious and unconscious covenant your forefather entered into your that has brought backwardness into your life. I said they are broken in the mighty name of Jesus. They are broken and I declare doors to be opened up for you this morning. I command a great doors to be opened up for you in the name of Jesus. And I declare that whatever God has not planted in your life, in your destiny, let it be uprooted, let it be uprooted, let them be uprooted. Whatever does not look like God that is manifesting in your life, let it be uprooted for your life. Let that sickness be uprooted right now. Let that issue be uprooted right now. I say whatever trace of darkness that is still manifesting in your life, be uprooted from your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I reject and I cast all evil cancer and the plan of household wickedness over my life. I reject them and cast them all evil cancer and the plan of household wickedness over my life. I reject them and cast them in the mighty name of Jesus. I begin to reject and cast the evil cancer and the plan of household old wickedness over your life begin to reject them, begin to cancel them in the mighty name of Jesus say by the blood of Jesus and command every covenant of premature death to break right now, every covenant I have with premature death be broken right now, every covenant I have with death, I have destroyed you, I have break you by the fire of the Holy Ghost I will live to declare the words of God I will not die, my business will not die my children will not die, nothing will die in my heart. In the name of Jesus, nothing will die in my heart. I will live to declare the words of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When of God declare in Job 38, verse 12, He said, As thou commanded the morning since the day, and caused the day spring to know its place, that it might take hold of the end of the earth, that the wicked might be shaken. Out of you, I declare every heart the wicked have in you will be shaken out of you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command every wickedness of the enemy to be shaken out of your life. Let it be shaken out of your destiny. Every wicked of the enemy in your life, let it be shaken out of your life. That sickness be shaken out of your life. That poverty be shaken out of your life. That loneliness be shaken out of your life. Whatever does not look like God, let it be shaken out of your life right now. Let it be shaken out of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Whosoever manipulating your destiny, let them be shaken out of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let them be shaken out of your life. In the name of Jesus, let every wickedness of the enemy to be shaken out of my life, out of my destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, every strong man from my foundation 
working against my destiny. I bound you and I command you to be caged forever and I command you to die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every strong man from my father's house working against my destiny, I bound you and I command you to be caged forever. I command you to die by fire by force. In the name of Jesus, I say every strong man from my father's house, in my mother's house, working against my destiny, I bound you and I command you to be caged forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be caged forever, be caged forever, be caged forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, every strong man of us old wickedness working against my destiny, I bound you, I command you to be caged. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I lose all that concerns me from the heart of those who, of those evil strong men, and I present my possession right now. I possess all my possession in the mighty name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I receive victory. From every arrow of the enemy targeted against me, I receive my victory. I receive my victory. I receive my victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Every arrow of destruction released against me, I resist you by the blood of Jesus. And I return you back to Seda. I return back to Seda. Every arrow fired against me while I am sleeping, every arrow fire into my life, I'll put you down as a return back to Seda. Every arrow of defeat, return back to Seda. Every arrow of poverty, return back to Seda. Whatever represents an arrow that they may have shot into me, I said, I'll put you, return back to Seda in the mighty name of Jesus. I command every embargo placed against my finance to be lifted right now. Every embargo placed on my finance be lifted right now, be lifted right now, be lifted in the mighty name of Jesus I decree that every static stumbling block that has been built to stop me from manifesting in my divine settlement be uprooted right now, be uprooted right now in the mighty name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I decree divine increase and excellence in everything. I lay I, whatever I laid my my hand upon, I declare divine increase in my business, I declare divine increase. In my going out, I, I decree divine increase. In my place of work, I decree divine increase in the mighty name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I destroy every strange foundation in my life that has opened door to poverty. I destroy you by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I destroy you in the mighty name of Jesus. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. Whosoever, every digger of my pit, for it to that pit. In the name of Jesus, every digger of my pit in my place of bed, whosoever that is digging my destruction, let them for it to calamity, let them for it to destruction, let them be wasted, let them be wasted. Any mom that has vowed to waste my life, they are wasted. Their children, children are wasted. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say they are wasted. Every waster of my destiny, I say they are wasted by the fire of the Holy Ghost, what the enemy has made for evil. God will make it good for me. He will make it good for me in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, what the enemy has made for evil for me, God will turn it around for good in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me share that testimony to you. You see, I fear God. I fear God. Somebody called me yesterday and no, I don't know. My number is with them. I don't know. I'm just a simple person. My numbers can't get to anybody's at my number because I love to help people. I love to help people. But the things I don't like are people that talk too much. Don't want to talk too much. You just call me. You are telling me stories. I am. Uh, don't worry about what they are talking. <clears throat> Don't listen to what they are talking. As I ask God, you are, why are you telling me what they are talking? Am, am, am I interested in what people are talking about me? Just to gain attention. And I already have a man I would give him some money. I was pissed off. Don't listen to what they are talking. Why would people talk? When God has blessed you, people, are, people will talk. When you are enjoying, people will talk. When I was in a poverty, who talk? When nothing was working for me, who talk? 
when things are working for you, people are talking. What's your business when they are talking? You should not be the one to come and tell me that people are talking. Let they talk. Let they talk. What they are talking? Who is? I said, once you are blessed, people will talk of you. But they can't do anything against who God has blessed. And I warn him, don't come here again and tell me people talk. Don't, no, 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 don't, don't do that to me. I'm not interested whether people are talking. And yet, not what is even talking. He just tried to gain favor from me. If you are listening to people talking, how can you move forward? Can you imagine? Dogs are barking. Dogs are barking from, from here. And that dog is barking from here. And as they bark, you look here. Dog, like, whoa, you look here. Whoa, you look here. That means you, you don't have focus on where you are going to. You, you will crash. Or you lose focus. Because you put up barking. What do you expect a dog to do? The work of a dog is to bark. <laughs> yeah? So what is your problem when the dog is barking? And you are looking at the dog. I don't want to bark again. You are looking. You want to bark in your back. You are looking. That is not your business. Not to stop a, not to stop a moving train. Not to stop a moving train. Once a train is moving, you can stop it. A policeman was trying to stop a metal person from train killing him. Train. The policeman had to be, he now had to be a victim while the mad person was free. Let God fight for you. I don't want any man to fight for me. I love God to fight for me. And I'm going, I'm going to fight for me. A person is, is a joy. A person is very, any kind of designers, not telling really that they are talking. Why, why would they talk? As I wear this shirt now, don't you like it? But there are people that don't like it that have to talk. It's natural. But don't let their concerns you. You are a star. You are a movie train. A movie train. Anything that comes, crushed. Whatever that comes into a movie train is crushed. When you know your God, and you are listening to people's talk, <laughs> be the spirit. And I want the God not ever they send him what he wants. He wants money. I said, hey, money. I have it. I'm blessed. When you have God, you have everything. When you have God, you have everything. Hallelujah. I declare upon you, whatever evil pit the enemy have dug, they story like evil. Whatever pit the enemy have dug for you to bury your star, the digger of that evil pit will be buried in that pit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare total restoration of what you have lost this month. Total restoration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In this money, in this program, go and possess your position. Go and recover what you could not recover for yourself in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Bible says in, that, in Psalm 91, verse 5. He said, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fired by day. I command every evil arrow fire against you to be uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every arrow of poverty, every arrow of sickness, whatever present an arrow, fire it to you. Let the arrow go back to set that this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
say whatsoever, whatsoever, any power that is possibly disappointment in my life, that is possibly shame, poverty in my life, say I arrest you, I command you to lose me and die by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your time for settlement has come in the mighty name of Jesus. She referred to Rosemary, your time has come for settlement. And your Oba Eldomare, your time for settlement has come. Anita James, your time for settlement has come. And Father Yam, your time for settlement has come. Zainab Warrant, your time for settlement has come. Esther Alufam, your time for settlement has come. Cordelia Odegui, your time for settlement has come. Angela Simen, your time for settlement has come. Katrina Elisha, your time for settlement has come. In the mighty name of Jesus. Esteem Atoni Eim, your time for settlement has come. In the mighty name of Jesus. Juliana Awam, your time for settlement has come. In the name of Jesus. Mo Opo, your time for settlement has come in the name of Jesus Christ. As many watching me right now, your time for settlement has come in the name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 59, verse 19, declared, he said, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west, from the glory, from the rising of the sun, where the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. <laughs> That's what God is saying. When they come with their devices, then God will come, God will appear. Say, by the Spirit of God, say, by the Spirit of the living God, say, I raise up the standard of the blood of Jesus against every destiny killer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say, I raise up the standard of the blood of Jesus against all my enemy of my destiny in the name of jesus christ say by the spirit of the living god i raise up the standard of the blood of jesus against everyone that is wishing me dead in the name of jesus anyone working against my destiny i raise up the blood of jesus against them by the fire of the holy ghost i receive the grace grace to move forward in everything receive that grace grace to move forward Receive the grace, grace to become what God said you will become. Receive that grace, receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. I am here again to declare that you will see the head of your enemy. You must not give up. Your enemy will not see your head in the mighty name of Jesus. Your enemy will not see your head. You will see the head of your enemy. Don't give up. You know, people keep wondering, why am I talking, don't give up? I went through it. I went through it. One day, I was in a court, not Nigeria court, that said that do this anyhow. I was in a court in UK. And they were taking all my possession, my houses, millions of pounds. And I heard the voice of God telling me, can I remember the title of the book? I said, you're right. I said, yes, sir. Why in the court? He said, how many of the book have you written? On oh, Akakat, there are so many. So that is why you must not, what is the title? The title is Don't Give Up. And God spoke about me. Why I that is it why I said go and write that book, don't give up. Uh, or I wrote, I read, uh, I wrote more than thousands, thousands of that book before the problem came. <laughs> you understand me? So it was that book that God now used to talk to talk to me that you cannot give up. I got a, 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 an author that wrote, don't give up, not begin to give up. That was why God gave me this word, don't give up. No matter the challenge you are going through. And know this God that can recover for you what make and not recover. When may say you are finished. And know the God that will say, no, you, you have just started your life. 
and people are not calling me and they're asking me what is your secret somebody called me and said pastor Alex, i'm aging i don't have any problem i'm aging but look at you that has a lot of issues going on you are looking younger <laughs> and i laughed Who is backing this man up? A man that can make me, a place that can make me look young. Doctor can make you look young. Doctor can make you look young. Only God can make you look young, look better. When you carry God's presence, you glow, you glow, you glow. Every day glow. Well, if you're supposed to be getting older, you are looking good, better. I went, I was in the immigration office, tried to renew my passport. And they called me to the office. I don't know what they're calling me. They said, oh God, I want to ask you a question. Sorry, don't be embarrassed. I said, what is the question you want to ask me? He said, but this picture, this passport of 10 years, this 10 years old passport, Want to renew to this new one? I say yes. He said, "But this passport, you look old." Yeah. So we are confused. Whether you were that person in the passport. <laughs> oh God! The word of God is real. When God said, "I will restore to you the years, the cacaworm, the caterpillar, the witchcraft, the witches after power." It. When God said He will restore it. God is a God of restoration. I'm not quoting in the scripture. This is what I went through. They look at it. They look at him. My passport. And look at me. <laughs> I, I will not say I'm fake. Because they believe they can crown somebody. Have they crowned me? Crown me? I'm still the same person. That is what God can God of restoration. That's why you must not, don't give up. Don't give up. The ex, why they are attacking you is because of your, what is ahead of you. The devil does not attack you for what you are now. It's attacking you of what is in your future. They have seen greatness ahead of you. That's why they are trying to finish you. And you must see that greatness. I do see that. I do know that. I do see that greatness. We will know your God. Do you call it God every morning? Is it vain? It, it, it does not hear us. <laughs> Go to the church. I see miracles. I see the, the evidence of no God. Go to the church. People that are right off. They are talking with their mouth. Talking with their mouth, what God has done for them, the kind of restoration. People, if we share testimony to the extent, if you attack me, I, I'm, I'm going to get jealous. And I'm the one that is, I'm the one preached to them, but they are naturally add, oh, what can God do? That's a good jealousy, because I'm happy. I'm happy. When I'm not against that person, that's witchcraft. If you are jealous or some, somebody good jealous, you pray to God with all your heart. So the God that answer that person can answer you. You don't jealous to have somebody because oh that person is blessed. When, when, when you are blessed, that motivate me to know God the more, to pray to God the more. Because I know the God that answer you, you will answer me. That's how I know that nobody is God. So don't jealous anybody. Mm -mm. Does it worth it? Or is, you are, you are sick you are that for. Be happy when somebody is happy. When somebody is celebrating, celebrate that person. And in a short time, you see yourself, you see God will appear for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The God of total restoration. 
you will not die before your time. God has blessed me. And I keep saying it. And the more I say, the more it keep blessing me. He will settle you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That's why I love this place in the scripture. First Samuel 2, verse 8. I erased of the poor out of the dust and he lifted up the beggar from the door in to set them among princes and to make them erected the throne of glory for the pillar of the earth and the Lord and he, he has set the word upon them. Cut the word of God. I erase, I erase I erase the poor out of the dust. For example, me, out of the dust. That's why I don't joke with my God. Not, 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 him, not, 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 not tribute to any man. Is he did all for me? My father could not help me. Nobody was able to help me. My sister did not help me. My, nobody helped me. God took me. He took me out of the dust and make me to stand before the poor that matters. I decree that you are lifted above every negative situation. You are lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. You are lifted every embargo placed upon your lifting. That embargo is terminated in the name of Jesus Christ. I say you are lifted. From be poor to become rich. You are lifted to become from sickness to divine healing. You are lifted from barrenness to fruitfulness. You are lifted from nobody to somebody. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare every interest placed against your rising by the enemy is hereby destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. I say every interest placed against your rising by us old enemy, they will die by fire in the name of Jesus Christ, and you will arise as shun. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree. This is your season for divine settlement. This morning, God will settle all that concerns you. In the mighty name of Jesus, wherever you need to be settled in your in the fruit of your body, receive your settlement. In your marriage, receive your settlement. In your business, receive your settlement. In your finance, receive your settlement. In your job, receive your settlement. In your academy, receive your settlement. In your application, receive your settlement. In that project you have started, receive your divine settlement. In your ministry, receive your settlement right now. Receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We share a testimony to you. To me, it's a testimony. A woman said she came to my church. That's when she got a breakthrough. Aduma was the one that, that gave us gave, used to worship in Tokna. He caught my attention that he came to my church. That was where God asked her a prayer. I said, Thank God for your life. Yeah, I trust the woman. I trust this woman. But every day I was not praying for that woman. For what he has done, for God you see her. And God said to me, Be careful. Imagine, be careful. She's an evil woman. I said, What? Stop praying for who is against you. Then I call my son, and God opened me up what, what her intention is. I call my, my son, that was a multiple that to use that, that place to me, Mike. Minister Mark, lovely boy. I love that boy. Um, that boy has blessed me. So I called Mark. I said, Mike, this is the intention that God put on me the intention the woman has. That the pastor of that woman, because 
he saw me in that church. The pastor is not interested in the place. Because once we're a carrier of God's glory, wherever you go, that place blew. The presence of God carried the anointing, and the anointing transformed every darkness in that area. And God said, Don't sign any contract because they will not, they will put you, they will push you out. And one day, Doma just, I'm not a woman. I was paid, I took some chairs there. Doma refused. He took my chairs, took my deposit, and walked me out of the place. People came to worship God on Sunday in the place, and the place was locked, and the place, the human destroyed the place so nobody can worship there. And God said, Go to all, go all land. I went all land to invite to tell my members to go back home. In short, I, I was confused in the beginning. And God said, Go to, go all land. I will tell you what to say. I went all land to tell them that I will be all land that day around five. They should go home. So we can hold the service all land. So as I, as I put my log in my, my, my details, People already stuck my own land, people everywhere in the old land. So I start preaching immediately. And God said, make a prophetic declaration that this week you will get a better place. And guess what? Where we are now. I only God know what is about to do there. I'm just amazed. 100% better than that place, cleaner than that place, and um, go show up in that place. If I have given up, you know, you are, when you give up, you have not, you can't take. When you give up, you are depressed. When you are depressed, you don't think good things. All you think about, if I die, is better. Whereas, there is life ahead of you. For you know, you start declaring evil against yourself. No matter what you are going through, I want to encourage you. Go and sit down and listen to Pastor Alice. I went through it. And I came out of it. Not the same way I went through it. I came out of it younger. Better. That is the essence of you having uncontrollable God. God is uncontrollable. It's just God. It's he can do what he wants to do at any time. You must not give up. I will tell you this. This I went through and God appeared. It makes a way, truly. I know that God can make a way where there's no way. I don't understand. If I tell you people now, if I tell you I don't have a back account, you will you, you'll be amazed. I don't have it, but I have an account in heaven. Because the Lord said, He will supply me all my needs. I got to his riches in glory. In UK, yeah, I don't have a card. All I have is God. And he's supplying. If I tell the church, I need test suits, test suit. They will give me a dress suit. That's the level. And I'm very proud to, to see it. You are next in life for a major breakthrough. If you don't give up, you will talk better than me. Christian now. Christian Musalo. Lena William. You will talk greater than me. Because the greater God we will come to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth.
So my time has come. My time has come. I command every arrow of defeat set against you to be expressly defeated before your face. By this covenant of settlement, I will draw your name from the book of those who mark for strongly. I will draw your name from the book of those that are marked for hardship. I will draw your name for the book for those that have negative cases in police station or in court. I will draw your name. I will draw your name from every trace of darkness in your life. And your name is not trafar to light. Arise and shine in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are under a covenant of settlement. Therefore, whatever they have planned against you, they will not prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are marked for greatness. You shall not fail. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, those who are waiting to see you, your downfall, they shall wait forever. That your ass old enemy that is waiting to see your downfall, they will wait forever. In the name of Jesus, they shall continually to be divinely disappointed. In the mighty name of Jesus, any man or woman that is trying to turn you. Call you a name that God has not named you. God will put that name on their head. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the God who did not allow them to succeed over your life all this time, will not allow their plan to prosper in your life. I said their plan will not prosper. In the name of Jesus, men will gather to celebrate you. In the mighty name of Jesus, every gathering against you for evil, they will be, they will fail. They will gather to scatter. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will not be put to shame anymore. In the name of Jesus, whatever strange name was placed on you that has been closing door against you wherever you go, it is castled. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that yoke that your destiny has been laboring under all this time, it is breaking right now. That yoke is broken. That yoke is destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever has brought to you from the Lord this morning, that special, that request, that intervention, that deliverance, that healing, that prayer, that application, that proposal, that challenge, that issue that has made you to come and seek God face this morning by the power of the Holy Ghost and the key that yoke is broken, that yoke is broken and you are not released into your covenant of long life in the name of Jesus you are released into the covenant of divine settlement, you are released into the covenant of prosperity you are released into the covenant of settlement in the name of Jesus Christ as you step out of this prayer meeting and decree that this this year, this year shall speak abundance for you as in the remaining month of this year shall speak abundance for you it shall speak blessings into your life it shall speak healing into your life it shall speak open doors into your life it shall speak on around into your life it shall speak great test testimony into your life say jesus over to you hallelujah your level of change forever in the mighty name of jesus christ you are you are coming back with testimony expressly in the name of Jesus, those that are watching me now on Sunday, you are next in line to testify. Those watching me, even that, that will not come to my church, you will add a reason for testifying in your local church on Sunday, this Sunday, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You always know that Pastor Alex loves you and God loves you more and more. He will, and He will always love you. Don't give up. That your issue will give up. You don't give up in the mighty name of Jesus. By God's grace, I will see you live and direct again, same time tomorrow. And I want to encourage you that don't joke with tomorrow Friday service. It will be deliverance and impartation. Please <laughs> make sure you are there because the power of God will move like never before, and every captive will be set free. Anyone the enemy has heard. Old hostage will be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil creature, whosoever that is looking for that fall, come. Let's put it to where where they belong. Make sure you are there tomorrow, and you come back here and testify. Hallelujah! What a mighty God we serve. When you are led to sow into the ministry, you will never lack any good thing. In the name of Jesus, 
you will never lack and heaven will be open up for you if you are led. Your time has come in the mighty name of Jesus. Lauren, your time every is open up for you. Daughter, um, every, my daughter in Loti, every is open up for you. All of you, every is open up for you. I love you so much. I go love you more. Tell my daughter that I went to um, Jamaica. God will protect you in the mighty name of Jesus. June, June, does God will look after you, will protect you. Oh, Tony, I does not know. The testimony will end up whatever you are going through in the name of Jesus. Lauren, Grace, your time has come. Love you, my daughter. Bless you, bless you, bless, bless you, Christian. Usalu, bless you, Rehab. Bless you, um, uh, maybe I do bless you. I love all of you. Where is Bibi? We have not seen Bibi today. Your oh, I just your time has come. Emily, so your time has come. Then Katrina, Elijah, bless you. Bamidele, Oseni, bless you. Vezibam, Uluadare, uh, your time has come. In the name of Jesus, to Juliana, our, your time has come. Hallelujah, your time has come. Bibi, we I just saw you now. Your time has come. Cordelia, Adagwem, with my daughter, Adela, Jesus, I have not seen you today. But God, you uh, in my mind. Danny Pamela, love you, my daughter. Amaka, all of you, I love all of you. God love you more. Your time has come. Proud to have you as my children. I love you all. Thank you again for studying for study for me. Go start for you. I have the best member in your world, the best member. Members, uh, they are the best. I have never seen it. They are my best people that follow me from one place to another. They never give up on God. Sita, Sita will be is afraid of them. <laughs> Hallelujah! I love you all. Thank you for studying. Study before me, and God will start for you. Now, Elizabeth Ashley, thank you for your testimony. You are enjoying. Now, your time has come. I love you all. I'll see you again, Sita, tomorrow. But don't forget that tomorrow is a deliverance and a partition. Make sure you are there tomorrow and the God of possibility will make this possible for you. That means Jesus will speak for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Share, share, share. Keep sharing, keep sharing, please. Keep sharing. Keep sharing. I love you all. To you be all the glory. Titi. Mavoro too, Carola Bat, will I love you too. Bless you all.
Love you.